Hi, Art One. This is Amy Alley. We're in the fourth marking period. Yes. So, in the fourth marking period, we're going to have long term deadlines. There's two major projects one that's due by progress reports, and one that's due by the end of the year. If you're learning in the classroom, we'll be doing things in the classroom, not from this packet. But if you're a virtual learner, here's what we're going to do first. Project one is grids. I know, I know. I'm giving you four weeks to work on these grids. How you work is at your pace, how you decide to manage your time. This is a real life problem with artists. Sometimes we get very long deadlines, we don't know how to manage our time. So the objective here, well, yes, I'm grading you on the grid method. Yes, I'm grading you on how accurate you can draw the grid method and reproducing it twice its size and so on and so forth. This is a review of the grid method, but the true objective is how well you handle a project in a large block of time. Now there's work to get done. In the next few pages of the packet, you're going to have different pictures to grid. In fact, you have 10 choices. Of these 10 choices, you must pick eight. Now, this is due Friday, May 7th, which gives you a month and a day away. These packets are going to be available at lunch pickup. I've already dropped off quite a few in people's mailboxes. However, if you do not have this packet, you can still get started on the work. It just takes a little setup, which is very easy because we've been doing grids all year. So here, is how you set it up. You're going to draw a new square four inches wide by five and a half inches long. You should all have rulers from the first marking period. I need you to reach out to me if you do not have a ruler. Okay, I need you to reach out to me if this is not possible. I need you to reach out to me if you want this delivered to your house like I've been doing. Okay, I'm not a mind reader, but you can do the project without the packet. Don't go lying to Miss Suggs and say you don't have a packet, you can't do your work. You know who you are. So packet or no packet, you can look off of the packet on the screen and create your own drawing grid. So if you have the packet, this is what it looks like. Here are your 10 choices. You have to choose eight of them. Georgia O'Keeffe's animal skull, and you'll draw it here. Frida Kahlo, all of them are like our exit tickets or self-portrait monkeys. This is a Dylan Kida. I say that name very well. Um, Marisat, female American artist. Grandma Moses. You just draw and shade these the best you can. King Tut. All art history examples, okay? Maybe you like one better than the other. Maybe you think one's easier. Okay, this is a tapestry from 2070 AD. Here's Vincent Van Gogh with his good ear showing. Gold pearl earring. And Andy Warhol's chicken soup. I mean, tomato soup, excuse me. Okay. So, you have to pick eight of those. Now, I'm going to show you, in case you don't have a packet, how to get the grid drawn. Use the top edge to mark off four inches. You see that I went from the inset of the ruler to four. Now I'm going to go down from each dash and I said five and a half long. So that is the dash mark between the five and six. That's the longest right there. I'm just going down from the dashes. I'm not really worried about where I'm landing with the dashes on the paper. So I have four dashes. I have two at the top and two at the bottom and they're very much. They're kind of like a slanted square right now, but I'm going to get the top and bottom lines in. Now I'm going to trace from the left dash. This is so hard to see. Sorry, guys. Down. Now I'm going to go from. So right now I have an L, and I'm going to trace over four inches. If you want to set up your paper and follow this demo video to create your own square because you don't have a packet, pause, rewind, 
Okay, follow along with exactly what I'm doing. So first I started with four inches, four inches. Okay, then I went down 5.5 inches. And I went down 5.5 inches. Now I'm going across four inches. That's where I got that one. Now I'm going to bring this last side together with the line I just made and the line from the top. And there you go. Now, do you have to do this eight times? Do not do this eight times. Work smarter, not harder. And take this and you're going to cut it out. Okay? Look, I even did the dashes for you. That's coming up next. I had this wonderful idea. How would I work smarter, not harder, if I did not have a packet? Make yourself a template. On a brand new sheet of paper, whether it's lined, whether it's the back of some junk mail, maybe, I don't know. Maybe you have white computer paper. If you have a packet, this is all unnecessary because in the packet you already have these grids provided for you. And you can always ask me at any time to drop a packet off at your mailbox or mail one to you in the mail. Maybe you're not in Gibson or Paulsboro. Maybe your school choice. Maybe you're living with somebody else right now. It's no big deal. Now let's put a 0.5 inch grid. Line your ruler up at the top. So it's that long line between numbers and the numbers. Slide it down. After you have both sides, line it up, relax your hand, and connect. Again, we've been doing this all year. And if this part is too complicated for you, or you just, you really just rather have a pack, you can come to lunch pickup, or you may contact me to drop one off at your house, your mailbox, or put one in the mail. Let's do it to this side. Half inch, inch, half inch, inch, half inch, inch half inch inch all the way down line up the top notice i slid my ruler over remember that i didn't turn my paper i didn't turn my ruler in case your square is crooked i'm known to make everything crooked so i never turn my ruler or my paper because then that's how you get weird lines it happens to all of us remember there's no shortcuts when it comes to making the grid you have four weeks to complete eight grids if you want to get your eight grids done in one weekend and have the next four weeks off, you're my kind of people, you may do so. You're going to attach all your work at once. I don't want them trickling in all of them at once to Google Classroom when you're done. By May 7th for the progress report. Now let's start entering in this grid. How do we grid? Does anyone remember? It's been ages. All right, so we're going to go one, two, three in to the top of the can, across the very top, across the very top, and down again. So I'm right here. This line, this line, this line, this line. And I'm gonna continue getting in basically the outline first of this Campbell Soup can. If you don't have a ruler for the grid lines, you can always use an envelope. You can use the edge of a magazine. So I think I'm off. I went too far into this square. So you might be at the point now where you're drawing your grid and you can move fast like me and go to several squares doing an outline. If so, that's great. If you have straight lines, you want to get your ruler in there. You may do so. Okay. So I need you to transfer in this design.
Eight of these are due by May 7th. You have a full month to get these done. I want all of them submitted at the same time to Google Classroom. Not having a packet is no excuse. I just showed you how to make your own grids on your own paper. If that drives you crazy, make a template. If that drives you crazy, find a way to get a packet. Either come to the school at lunch pickup or contact me to drop one off at your house. Arrangements can be made. This is not the end of the world. It is a lot of work, but I'm giving you a whole month to get it done. You can do it. I'll see you on the meet. Good luck.